This is Twit. I go to coveryourtracks.eff.org with mm -hmm. my Firefox browser loaded with uBlock Origin and Privacy Badger. The, the, the result page says, here are your Cover Your Tracks results. They include an overview of how visible you are to trackers with an index and glossary of all the metrics we measured below. Our tests indicate that you have strong protection against web tracking. Yay. Okay. So they are, they, they uh, quickly divide this into three categories. Is your browser blocking tracking ads? Yes, it is. Is it blocking invisible trackers? Yes, it is. Is it protecting me from fingerprinting? Oh, they answer your browser has a unique fingerprint. Uh. And they say, note, because tracking techniques are complex, subtle, and constantly evolving, Cover Your Tracks does not measure all forms of tracking and protection. They're, they're, you know, they're here to make a point, but boy, do they. <laughs> they said, your browser fingerprint appears to be unique among the 244,246 <laughs> browsers tested in the past 45 days. Okay, ouch. So that's a bit shy of one quarter million visitors who have used Cover Your Tracks over the past month and a half. Uh, and not one of those visitors' browsers had the same fingerprint as mine. Uh, or mine, as it turns out. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but that's the, that's the thing we were talking about the other day. Exactly. It, it's exactly. almost impossible to prevent. So, for example, they check the headers. The, uh, the, my user agent header says Mozilla slash 5.0, Windows NT 10.0, Win64, X64, RV colon 144.0. Okay, that's 140. That's got to be the version number of Firefox. Then I've got Gecko. Uh, 2010 and uh, yeah, Firefox slash 140.0. So that's my user agent header. Oh, and why? For some reason, almost everything identifies as Mozilla. I don't, it's bizarre. Um, I and it, it still is. Every you're right, everything starts with Mozilla slash something, yeah. and it's purely history. It's because it's it's because the the very first browser was Netscape, right? And and you had to have that in the user agent to tell the early web servers that you were a user-based web browser, not some other robot or something. Mm -hmm. So it's just there. You know, er everything has it. So they note that that user agent header, as it is, conveys 4.41 bits of identifying information. In other words... It is, uh, for, and the reason bits can be fractional is, you know, log power of two reasons. The point is that one in 21.21 browsers share this value. That so is, it's so already they, narrowed it down that much. Yes. Just from that, just from the user agent. That one user agent wow. of, of that, of that 244 plus thousand browsers they've seen in the last 45 45 days my browser is 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 has been reduced from that population to one in 21.21 of that entire set hey it's leo laporte i hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from security now if you want the whole show you can get it at our website twit.tv slash sn of course you can subscribe to security now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below security now